Just like building a house, the nervous system grows in stages. You have to first lay a solid foundation before you can build upon it. I'm Dr. Tracy Gross, and as a pediatric chiropractor, I see very often that kids start to hit preschool ages, kindergarten, or early education, the ages where they start to need skills for socialization and speech and higher levels of cognition, but they struggle. And the reason for that is because they just needed a more solid foundation in their early ages of development, ages zero to 18 months. Now the good news is, it's really easy to monitor how your child is doing and how they're developing based upon their milestones. So the milestones are broken into different categories and we're going to summarize them into big groups. The first group of milestones happens from age zero to four months, right here. This is all about the automatic functions in the body. So it's eating, sleeping, pooping with ease. And that's the key. It has to come easily. So babies are working this out, they're practicing, and when they can do those automatic functions with ease, then their brains are able to prioritize and move on to the higher level things like senses, tastes, sounds, textures. And when they're regulated and adapted to that environment, the body's then able to move on to the next phases. So this chunk of developmental milestones is all about the sensory system. When we move to four months to 10 months old, that's when we kick into the motor system, the motor milestones. This includes things like rolling over, sitting up, and the beginning stages of crawling. In this second phase, it's important that babies are able to practice these movements freely. This is why I personally don't recommend containers for babies because it doesn't allow them to do free movement. So the saucers or the bouncer seats, not only is that bad for their spinal structure, but it also prevents them from being able to explore their environment and their range of motion. So free moving on the ground babies is the best thing that you can do to help them develop their motor coordination. The motor system is important for laying the groundwork for what's coming next because it requires a lot of focus from the brain. And once a baby is able to do those motor movements smoothly and without effort, then the brain is able to say, okay, we've mastered these things. We can kick on and activate the higher levels of thinking, which then lead into speech, it leads into emotional regulation, sensory processing, and even relational interaction with peers and with family members. At 10 months to 18 months, we're also still doing some motor movements like pulling up on furniture. That's when we're starting to cruise around and then eventually with walking. Now it's really important to remember that your toddler, your baby has to walk before they talk. The reason for that is because the brain is wired to conquer gravity first. So once your baby's able to walk, then that's when they'll be able to do those higher level functions like talking and interacting with each other and with you. Now, parents hear me on this. The order of the milestones is so much more important than the speed. If your child is not ahead of schedule, that's okay. The important thing is to make sure that they're meeting those milestones in the right sequence. That's what's going to give them the best brain development and help them to be able to move on into early childhood and the higher developmental milestones with success. So parents, what are your action steps? Number one, if you feel, if you have a gut feeling like your child is maybe delayed or if they're struggling, overcoming and meeting a certain milestone, then reach out. Let's have a conversation and talk about it. When we can learn more about you and your child and their life events up to this point, that'll help us determine what we can do to help. Number two, get your child checked by a pediatric trained chiropractor. If they're not meeting their milestones properly, it's likely that there's damage in their nervous system called subluxation that's preventing them from being able to make those connections. 
a pediatric chained chiropractor will know exactly where to look and how to correct the problem so that your child can have that communication system, they can conquer their milestones, and they can live in optimal health, not just for today, but even with smooth transitions into later childhood.